Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor, and today we're going to show you how to replace the freezer door on your GE refrigerator. If you need to purchase a new freezer door for your refrigerator, check out our website, partsdoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. To access the brackets holding the door in place, we will first have to remove the two freezer drawers. Start by opening the freezer door, then pull the upper drawer forward and tilt it up and out. Remove the lower drawer by pushing it back slightly, then tilt the front up and out. Then, using a 3 8 inch nut driver, remove these six screws. Tilt the door forward and lift up and out. If you need to purchase a new freezer door, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you are searching with the model number from the tag of your refrigerator to make sure that you are getting the correct part. The new door does not come with the gasket, the mounting bracket, the handle, or the mounting screws. These will need to be transferred from the old door. To make installing the door easier, insert a small object onto the pinion wheel track to jam the gear so that the slide brackets stay in place. Then align the tabs on the door brackets to the retainers on the slide rails and gently set in place. Reinstall the screws. To install the lower drawer, insert it at an angle, making sure it sits beneath the support glide rail. Then pull the drawer forward so that the tabs align with the retainers on the slide rails. Make sure that the front of the basket is beneath the lip. To install the upper drawer, align the rear guide wheels on the drawer to the top of the support glide rail in the freezer compartment. That's it for today's video, and if you felt this video was helpful, please leave a like and comment down below. And for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.